is up everybody, Bobby here, the Nintendo Guru, and today we're doing a different little type of video. This video is the best and the coolest Animal Crossing Easter eggs in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. For this video, I leaned on a good friend of mine, Very Carrie, to help out, so she'll be helping along with this video as well. So let's just jump right into this, shall we? Anybody that has ever played Animal Crossing realizes there are four seasons in the game and they actually implemented them in the tracks, which makes this so cool and such a little love letter to Animal Crossing fans all over. So if you ever wanna play in a particular season, there's four seasons that we all know of, that we all love. It's spring, summer, autumn, winter. Those are the four main seasons that you can race in in the Animal Crossing tracks. But did you ever wonder, can I automatically pick the track I wanna race in? The answer is yes. But if you want to play in the spring level, hold down the L button when you pick the Animal Crossing track, the R button for summer, ZL for autumn, ZR for winter, and it works for all offline modes. Pretty cool if you ask me. If you're hoping to catch an impromptu concert from KK Slider while speeding around the town, you'll need to take note as he is in various locations depending on which season you are racing in. In the springtime, he will be sitting across from the museum, strumming his guitar. During those hot summer races, he is perched overlooking the beach. For those chilly fall days, you can spot him at the town tree, which is located at the start-finish line. In the bitter cold of the winter race, you can spot him at Brewster's Cafe, The Roost, singing his songs and sipping his French vanilla mocha latte. Okay, perhaps that's not his drink of choice, but we can pretend, can't we? As you come off the beach and you drift into the next turn, to your right you'll see Nook's Cranny. If you slow down just enough, not too slow because you don't want the competition to pass you, but if you slow down just enough, you can actually hear the theme music to Nook's Cranny playing in the background as you zoom by Tom Nook. While speeding into the first turn of the Animal Crossing tracks, if you look up to your left, you can spot the train coming through makes you wonder, is someone new moving to town, or are the people just passing through? As you rocket over the river and just cross over the fountain, if you look to your left, you'll see the Roost Cafe. That's where Brewster hangs out. You never see Brewster, but you know he's inside, working hard, making them coffees, as always. As you drift your cart around that final turn, be sure to wave at Blathers, who is by the welcome sign to the museum, ready to greet you. Mr. Rossetti is such a pain in the games, and here he is causing havoc in the middle of the track as you're trying to make that final stretch down to victory lane. There are many things in this course that tip you off to the fact that this track is set in the New Leaf game. For one, you can clearly see a couple of the public works projects, such as the fountain, as well as the balloon archway. The biggest tip off has to be the inclusion of the retail with both Cyrus and Reese out front waving as you go flying by. As you pull up in front of the Able Sisters, you'll see on the side the high-end boutique that Sable runs. Three standout helmets. One is from Star Fox, the other is from Mario, and the other one is from Kirby. Anybody that has those amiibo and have scanned them into Mario Kart 8, you'll realize that those are the helmets that your me character can wear when you actually scan those amiibo suits into the game. Pretty cool little detail that they added here. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you, Very Carry, for lending a hand with this video. If you guys want to follow Very Carry, you can check her out over on Twitter at Very Carry. You can also follow me at Nintendo Gurus. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. It helps us out immensely. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Let us know in the comments below, is there anything we missed? Is there a cool little Easter egg that you know about that we totally flubbed on? With that, that is all. Peace out, Preston.